Hey guys, what's up? It's Charlie here, and today we're going to be looking at why breaking out of prison is legal here. You may think that if you've done a crime and go to prison, you're not allowed to leave. But that's not actually the case if you come from one of four countries. That's right, four countries on Earth are great for prisoners as you're allowed to break out of prison there. But there are some funny catches and facts along with that law. Today we're going to look at where it's legal to escape from prison, some people who really did escape and got away with it, and also some crazy prison escapes that were not successful. But first, why not subscribe and press the notification bell too. So first, let's look at where is it legal to escape from prison in the world? Well, as I said before, there are four countries which allow this. Those countries are Germany, Mexico, Austria, and Belgium. But why is that the case in these four countries? Well, it's because they say the desire to escape is not only a human right, it's within human nature. That means escaping and being free is in our DNA. Some of these laws are very old. For example, in Germany, where this law dates back to the 1800s and is over 130 years old. This very old German law brought in by the Reichstag all those years ago is still in effect today. But has anyone actually ever tried out this law in Germany? Well, prison escape in Germany is very difficult to do legally. Now, the actual act of escaping from prison is legal, but only if it doesn't break any other laws. And because it's almost impossible to escape prison without breaking another law, this makes it nearly impossible. For example, if you were a prisoner who escaped a German prison, you may have to damage the bars. And if you did that, it would be illegal as it's damaging property. Or for example, if you escape wearing your prison clothing, then that's stealing and that's illegal. Also, taking a hostage to escape or injuring anyone is also illegal. Basically, any crime you do commit while escaping will be held against you. And not only that, it's also illegal to help someone else escape from prison. So if two people escape at once, then they would have helped each other and that would be illegal. So there's pretty much no way to escape from a German prison legally. That is unless guards accidentally leave keys lying around. So if you wanted to break out of a German prison, you'd have to not only make sure you didn't break a window or any bars, you'd also have to do it without any clothes on, otherwise it would be stealing. And not only that, if they can catch you again, you're allowed to be taken back to prison. The law says you're allowed to escape from prison, but this doesn't mean the crime you were taken there for in the first place goes away. But what about in Mexico? Well, in Mexico, it's not punishable to escape from prison. Mexico is quite known for prison escapes. For example, Joaquim El Chapo Guzman escaped from a Mexican prison twice. However, this was not done legally. Instead, it was done by bribing guards. But why is escaping prison legal in Mexico? Well, it dates back to an old Mexican law named Article 154. In Mexico, freedom or liberty is defined as a human right. And it says this human right is even afforded to prisoners. However, there are some catches in Article 154. For example, it's illegal to escape if you help anyone else. AKA more than one person escaping at once is not legal. Also, if they injure anyone else like guards, prisoners or civilians, this also makes it illegal. And if you do break any of these laws while escaping from prison, this can get you an extra three years in jail. Also, if you escape in Mexico, your time outside jail is not considered part of your sentence. So that means if you're recaptured even after many years, you still have to do the time you have left on the original sentence. For example, if you get sentenced to 10 years and then escape for nine of those, don't think that nine goes away. Instead, you just have to spend nine extra years in prison if you're caught. And if you go back to prison after escaping in Mexico, you do lose many privileges. You may lose certain meals and also exercise privileges. Recently, there was a large prison escape in Mexico where around 130 inmates fled using a tunnel. And in another situation, some commandos used an explosive to blow up the prison walls. Also in 2002, a Mexican burglar did actually escape from a Mexican prison. A Mexican Supreme Court judge sided with the person who escaped. They said they were actually following the law, and it turned out this Mexican burglar knew about this law. In Austria, this is also the case. They say if you don't injure anyone or damage any property, you can escape from prison. That's because, much like in Mexican and German law, in Austrian law, the desire for escape and liberty is a human right. And in Belgium, this is also the case. A Belgium court recently ruled to keep that law in place. Some said this law encourages prisoners to try and escape in creative ways. But in Belgium, they also said that it's human nature to want to escape from prison. And also, escaping doesn't necessarily cause any harm. The only thing that would cause harm is if you broke the building or injured somebody while escaping. Belgium says it's up to prisons and police to be good enough to make sure nobody does escape. 
But has there ever been any really crazy escapes from a country where escaping prison is legal? Well, in 1971, Joel David Kaplan was arrested in a Mexican prison. He was arrested for fraud and taken to Mexico City's Santa Maria prison. One night, around 136 guards were watching a movie with the prisoners. That was when a helicopter landed in the prison yard. Joel Kaplan then got in the helicopter and flew away. He then arrived back in the USA and he said the process was completely legal. That's because the prison hadn't been damaged in any way and nobody was hurt. Also, the helicopter had been purchased privately, not rented. This meant nobody helped him escape from prison. And he also said because only he escaped, he wasn't helping anyone else escape. But that's not the only amazing and legal Mexican prison escape. Joaquim Loera Guzman, better known as El Chapo, also escaped many times. The most amazing escape involved him going into an underground tunnel. This tunnel went for a mile long and was equipped with electricity and a motorcycle. Now, at first, this was said to be illegal as he was clearly helped. That's because someone had to have built the tunnel and got the motorcycle for him. But because they couldn't name anyone who actually did help him as nobody knew who did it, that means it was legal. But anyone who knows about El Chapo knows he was recaptured by the USA and taken to New York. He will soon be sentenced and likely spend the rest of his life behind bars in the USA. And unlike in Mexico, in the USA, prison escape is not legal. Another country where escaping prison is not legal is South Korea. But that didn't stop one man known as the Korean Houdini. One South Korean man was a burglar, but he'd also been practicing yoga for 23 years. This allowed him to have full control over his body and convert it into any shape he wanted. This actually helped him to escape from jail. He was able to crawl through his prison food slot and escape from prison. Amazingly, the food slot was only 15 centimeters high and 45 centimeters wide. But through the use of skin ointment and yoga, this guy was able to escape. Comment down below your views of this law. Do you think it should be legal to escape from prison or not? Personally, I do understand that wanting freedom is a human right. And I suppose if it doesn't hurt anyone, then maybe it should be legal. Vote in the poll in the top right corner which prison escape you thought was the most amazing. Was it the helicopter prison escape by the American businessman? The tunnel escape by El Chapo? Or the yoga escape by the South Korean Houdini? If you guys want more amazing videos, then check out my second channel. There'll be a link to that coming up on screen in a moment. But as always, thanks for watching. Check out some more videos on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.